Hey guys, happy Wednesday. And I have some really, really exciting news tonight. First, let me say, I know you guys are wondering why am I standing because my ass bone is going to fucking break if I sit anymore. And my ass can take so much. And I'm sitting literally like 18 hours a day for the last couple of weeks and I just can't do it anymore. No, my ass just not happening. So I also, if you guys notice, I am clearer and there's more light and no, I didn't change my lighting, but I got a webcam. So, yay for the webcam. So you guys can now see me and you're not going to bitch. And I have my hands in my pocket so nobody can bitch that I'm fidgeting too much or I'm playing with something. So now you can concentrate on me. But I have some super fucking exciting news that I am so stoked to share. So about, I don't know, about two and a half months ago, two months ago, Facebook sent this thing out to all admins. I don't know how many filled it out. I was telling everybody to fill it out. Any admin of all the groups, especially making a murderer groups, you know, go ahead and fill this thing out. So Facebook is doing this first ever 2017 um, community summit. And what it is, is it's basically like a way for admins to do better for their groups. It's a way for admins to relate to the groups. I don't know, if, you know, obviously make money in the groups or whatever. But it's really how to have better groups and how to, you know, make better groups and everything that makes Facebook what it is. I mean, it just sounded really cool. And the best part is Facebook pays for everything, except you, they don't pay for you to get to Chicago. So I decided, you know what, fuck it. Let me try. What do I got to lose? So I entered under my twins group because I own, manage a admin uh, twins group. So I decided, hey, you know what? Let me give it a shot. What do I got to lose? So I decided, fuck it. So I sent it in. Never, ever expecting them to call. I mean, think about it. There are 6 million groups on Facebook. You got to figure each group has approximately 12 to, I mean, two to three admins. So that's like, at a minimum, you're looking at, what, 24 million people, 48 million people. That's fucking huge. So I decided... What the fuck? They're not going to pick me anyway. So about a month ago, I get this letter from Facebook saying that they want to interview me. They picked me for one of the groups. They find my group really interesting and they want to interview me. Well, fuck, sure. Why not? So I do this interview. I thought I fucking bombed it. I mean, I was like, oh my God, I totally bombed this interview. I told my boyfriend, I was like, I ain't fucking getting it. I totally bombed it. They hated me. There's no way. Okay. So sure enough, um, they, you know, they said, we'll let you know the beginning of May. So sure as shit, Sunday, I get an email. Congratulations. You made it to the summit. I was like, no fucking way. I was like, I did it. I fucking made it. I beat like millions upon millions of other admins and I fucking did it. They were, they picked like either 50 or a hundred groups. So it's a couple of hundred people. And the only thing they don't pay for is us getting to Chicago. Well, I can assure you my flight to Chicago was booked about 20 minutes after I received the letter. I was fucking stoked. I couldn't believe it. I was like, no way. I, I was like in tears. Like I did it. So I was so excited. So how does, what does this mean for making a murder? Well, what I'm going to do is, you know, even though I entered under a trends group, I'm still, it's everything I learn is still going to transfer over to make it a murder and all my groups when make it a murder and really my YouTube, everything. I mean, look how big Facebook is. So if Facebook can be that big and it's all top executives, like why would they hold the summit for admins if they didn't plan on like admins could do a lot better than what we're doing. So I am like totally stoked and Here's what you got. Like, you do have to pay for Chicago. They pay for all your meals. They have two reception events. They have this big gala um, on Saturday night. It's June 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. And I can't even tell you how excited I am. I do have to thank my boyfriend who's watching my dog and kids. And we're staying at the Hilton downtown. And everybody gets their own room. Oh, my God. It's fucking amazing. I cannot wait. So if any of you guys are in Chicago, let me know. But I am so pumped. I still can't believe I got it. Like yours truly, probably one of the most hated admins in all these groups for making a murder. So how do you like me now, bitch? 
So I am just, I'm so fucking excited. So I will try to tape it. I'll do something. Everyone's like, you gotta tape it. So yeah, I'm so excited. So that was my big news that I had to share. And some of you guys know because I've said it in the groups, but not all of them. But yeah, so I'm just, I can't get over it. I can't even believe I beat all these people and that I actually got it like little old me. So the other thing, and lastly, and the only real thing I have on making a murderer, and I cannot fucking believe it really. So TikTok Manitowoc sends this tweet to Ken Kratz. And it basically says, like, you know, what would you do? Would you go up against Zellner? Or, you know, would you go up against Zellner right now with all the evidence she has? That pompous fucking moron says, of course I'd go up against her. I forgot exactly what he said. It Like, let her put up or shut up with the fucking evidence that she has. And, yeah, he even cursed. So you sit there like, are you that much of a fucking douchebag? But if you think about it, why wouldn't he be? She hasn't done anything. So what really got to me, though, like honestly, truly got to me is not that he's a total fucking douchebag, but the fact that she, of all people, she didn't respond with something. And I understand that she doesn't have to, but it really made me think to myself, like maybe, just maybe I am 100% right that they have destroyed the evidence so much that she'll never find anything. They are that fucking confident. Now, on the flip side, I could be totally wrong. He's just a pompous fucking dick, which we all know he is, and who thinks, oh, she'll never find anything. Fuck her. And that's totally, totally possible. But it just, it really, truly just made me think like, oh my God. He is that much, he is that confident that she is not going to find anything. That's what scares me. That's a scary thought. So that's on Twitter and that's totally all I have for you guys tonight. Like I said, it was more of an announcement night than anything, but I promise I will find something on Saturday to do on making a murderer. But that's all I have for you guys. So have a great night and peace out. And now I have to walk over. Oh, I didn't show you guys my awesome fucking remote. Ta-da! It's got buttons on the side. It changes different colors. And my awesome headset. So, yeah. And my keyboard that was supposed to come tonight that didn't. It'll be here next week. So, have a great night, guys.